wanted to do a quick handling video because I have been off work for a week due to the fires so my hands look a lot better than they do when I'm farming. And we want to start with this beautiful cat eye mantis. Very fun species. This is still has one molt till adulthood so this will even get larger. And yeah, just amazing. Beautiful species to work with. Haven't had very many miss molts compared to what I was con thinking I'd have given that it's a tropical species supposedly and such long bodies you expect issues with molting but this species has been doing really well so hoping to have adults within the next month and we'll be able to do a video with their full size but even even in miniature they're just an amazing species they're timid enough to be kept in groups these are in groups of I've got about 10 in an enclosure big four foot by three foot enclosures. They do need a lot of room to hang. Um, yeah. Cat-eyed giant African stick mantis. I'll have all of the species names in the description or somewhere else on my channel. And as for things that are the opposite look but closely related, mantises are actually closely related to roaches. Woo and this, you can kind of see their face. They have kind of that same facial structure. This spot right here is elongated on a mantis and the front front claws are raptoral predatory. But past that, yeah, there's the closest relative to the mantis. One of his distant cousins. Domino's roaches are gorgeous. The adults unfortunately don't live long once mature, but the colony itself is thriving seem to do good with just a little heat in the back and some moisture in the cocoa fiber and they've been doing great so this is a really fun species really different when people think of cockroaches you don't really get an idea like this in your head so that's a really fun species to show people the diversity and that's one of my focuses with the ambassadors is to show that your first thought when you think of a species or an animal or a family is not representative of the amazing diversity that's sported by these animals. Whoops. They're also tough. <laughs> and I don't hold them very high above the ground just for that reason. They're bumbling off of things even in their own enclosures. Yeah, there's a Domino's roach. There we go, calming down for a second. Very fun roach to have in the hobby. And they leave behind those little white wings, so you can end up doing artwork with those later on. I need to put some of those in resin. Get this little lady back to her enclosure so she can calm down. And last but not least, we'll do a totally different group. I usually don't handle my tarantulas, but this mature male has wanted to do nothing but roam and look for a lady. It's been hard to even keep him fed, so... He ends up being my handle, a bull. And mostly what I've noticed, as long as you don't squeeze them, as long as they're not in a fighting or a eating mode, they do pretty well being handled. Also, watch your hard, anything that would make the mic pop, so your peas and your and your and your all those breathy statements. Ooh, tarantulas do not like those words, so if you're doing everything else right and they're still panicky, you might be just saying panicky a little too hoofy. Very settling down. So this is my mature male, first mature in our family, GBB. You can tell a mature male from the tibial spurs, which is this little section here, as well as the pedipalps get their little bulbs. So you can see these bulbous spots over on this pedipalp. It's just wanting to look at my finger right here. There's some bulbiness that doesn't happen on a juvenile. And there you go. Like I said, he's just been wandering around his new enclosure and looking for a lady. If anybody has a, a date available, he's on his dating app every day looking. <laughs> A really just a walkabout sort of species. Uh, I've got a lot of old worlds I would not handle. I wouldn't even think of it. 
but a few of these new worlds are gentle enough and not venomous enough to be a concern if there was an issue, so there we are. And always handle tarantulas very close to a surface, because they will jump off you with for surprising speed and try to free themselves by hitting the old floor and popping themselves, so yeah, keep an eye out. But past that, just so fun, such a beautiful species. And like I said, I've been feeding him, but he's just, he wants ladies, not food, so he's been refusing every f meal we've tried. So there we go. Three very different ambassadors with my less farmy hands because of the wildfire. I hope everybody's staying safe with all these climate anomalies and health anomalies. It's been a a year to learn about community and how we can help each other. So a thank you from the bugs for having some attention towards them and keep looking at all the amazing species you have and haven't seen and if you want to see a couple more species don't forget to look through some of my videos and if you'd like to don't forget to please the algorithm like and subscribe and meet some more of the ambassadors. Check out the new bug zoo so we can bring these guys to the public. We've got some new enclosures to build up and hopefully get that in, onto the streets by early spring. Thanks so much.